Bright Minded, live with Miley. And every day we're getting just a little bit more official. I got a lot of time on my hands. Are you even a talk show host if you don't have your own mug? All right, I see everybody is starting to tune in. I want to make sure as many people are here as possible before I start with this introduction of the show, which is going to be very exciting. I'm going to do my first segment of seven minutes with Saul, who is my trainer. And I think wellness and exercise, um, when we're feeling stuck or trapped or not able to go to the gym right now or see someone that um, keeps us accountable for being healthy and active. So I wanted to share um, Saul with you guys. So he's going to be joining from Windsor Chosa Pilates. Um, and I also wanted to mention that I created this show for emotional support at a very stressful time full of chaos and confusion and fear and panic. Um, and I wanted to bring light into a dark time. Um, so I really wanted to just bring emotional support. Um, but for those that are capable, it's extremely important that we provide uh, financial support when we can. If it's a cent, if it's a dollar, um, do whatever is appropriate and feels most comfortable to you. Um, you know, obviously this was to keep minds illuminated um, during darkness. Um, and uh, there are people who are hurting financially right now. I want to make sure that I get all these organizations right because they are just so badass and uh, so important and they are just doing incredible work. Um, so, I'm going to grab my little computer. Um, so people are hurting financially right now. And so one way to help is feedingamerica.org. And I'm going to post all the links on my page on Happy Hippies page. Um, hi, Brandy. My sister's watching. Uh, so feedingamerica.org. And that's to donate to your local food bank. Schools across the country are closed, meaning that kids aren't being fed at school, which many families depend on. So Feeding America is a great way to support and take care of others. I am personally supporting Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee, providing meals to elderly people in Nashville who have been affected uh, by the tornado and coronavirus. Oasis Center Emergency Housing, which I went to visit their facility at Christmas time with my sister who's watching. And it is absolutely brilliant. They are doing incredible work housing youth in Tennessee. And so we're seeing more people needing support since the tornado. So I would love for you guys to support Oasis Center Emergency Housing in Nashville. And my second home is California. So I am supporting the California Community Foundation to support COVID-19 LA County response for vulnerable people with immediate and long-term needs. Um, so these are all amazing organizations that you all can support, um, and donate what you can. And I'll make sure I post all the links so you know exactly how to get involved, uh, with their incredible work. And so now it is time for the first segment of seven minutes with Saul. And we're going to do a little workout. We're going to start with some breathing meditation, all simple things that you can do in a really small space and that require no equipment, um, just you and the ground. And so I'm going to connect with Saul right now. Oh, I always push the button where it makes me want to make my face a dog or whatever. Like, I always push this button instead. Okay. No. Um, request. Okay, here we go. So this is Saul, my very first segment. I'm so excited. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, love. Hello. How are you? I'm doing so good and very happy to see you. I'm so happy with what, uh, what you just said. It's important to give up, to give, up it, give to our community because, you know, this is a time to grow as a community and truly give back. I agree. I'm so happy so, to have you on my show and I miss you I'm very so much. Happy to be here. Um, but, yeah. you know, I was telling my fans we've been keeping active and exercising via FaceTime, which if they have someone in their life like you that they connect with, even if it's just a friend that will keep them accountable. Um, someone yes. in my life is my big sister, Brandy. So her and I can do some squats on the chair today, um, squat jumps on FaceTime. So if you don't have a personal trainer, you can also just FaceTime with a friend that can help keep you accountable. Uh, that is very true. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give my time once um, every morning. Check me out. If you guys want to work out for 40 minutes, look me up. I'll Definitely. be there. Yes. Why look not? Look at this. It's right? official. I have my own mug. 
Oh, I love it. I need the one of those. The mug is beat and the mug is beat. Right. <laughs> Okay, so so I think now. what's very important is that we want to connect with the mind and the body. And sometimes the mind might be too crazy going crazy. So sometimes we got to go to the body. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a couple of breathing exercises, a couple of core exercises, and hopefully you feel much better at the end of this session. Ready? Yep. So let's just take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale deeply into the rib cage. Bring that diaphragm all the way down to the pelvic floor and just release the air out. Again, inhale and exhale, right. Visualize the rib cage expanding as you take that deep breath and then like a balloon deflating and emptying the lungs all the way out. Now let's add some movement. Let's raise the shoulders up as we inhale and drop the shoulders down. Again, inhale, and exhale too. One more time, inhale, relax the jaw, relax the neck, relax the shoulders every time they drop down. Now let's circle the shoulders up and around, and every time you lift them up, inhale, and exhale, drop them down. Again, inhale, and exhale. This is something we do most of our workouts, just to connect the mind to the body and it's important especially in this crisis reverse for me please inhale and exhale again inhale see if you can visualize this cactus just rotating up and rotating down now let's take the hands onto your shoulders we're going to add a bigger movement think of those shoulders making a big circle and then dropping it down one the same idea you want to feel the rib cage expanding and then collapsing again expanding collapsing and let's reverse that for me please back up and around inhale whoops i lost you and again inhale lift up exhale one more time inhale Make a big circle with the shoulders, drop the shoulders down, and release. You know what? Let's give ourselves a little bit of a stretch just to bring some oxygen into those joints. Yeah. We're going to stretch the legs in a second, but let's also stretch the upper body. The whole body brings circulation into the arms, into the fingers, into the legs. Let's sit up for me, please. And now we're going to go into what we call the roll down. We're gonna add breath to it. So inhale deeply and on the exhale, I want you to bring the body down. Scoop the abdominals, take a deep breath here. Empty the lungs and round the upper body forward. Grow taller with the inhale and exhale. Let's go back again. Try to breathe into that upper back. Expand that back of the upper back. Now exhale, round the upper body forward. Inhale, take a deep breath, and try to create the longest spine possible, back of the neck nice and long. One more time. You exhale, take the body back, breathe into the upper back, and then round your upper body forward, empty the lungs completely, and then the last inhale. Now let's go back onto the floor. Yes, lay, let's lay down. We're going to do what we call the series of five. This is a great series of um, exercises for your core and also to stretch the legs. Um, we're only going to do a series of uh, repetitions of three. You guys can do up to 12, 16 repetitions. It depends how strong you are. So we're going to pull that leg in and you're going to inhale and then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to do another exercise, which is called double leg stretch. Again, you can do up to 10 repetitions on your own. Inhale, stretch everything forward, and exhale, bring it back in. We can create a little bit more challenge. Let's reach the arms over the head and reach long, long, and exhale, bring it in, too. Let's do that one more time. Breathe deeply into the lungs and into the lungs completely. Good. Let's bring the head down for a second. Let's circle the hips just around three times. Think of drawing a circle with your knees. 
and then reverse to the other side. Relax the neck, keep breathing naturally. Now we're gonna go into single straight leg. Bring that right leg up. If this is too challenging for you, you can grab onto the back of the thigh and pull one, two, and change. One, two, and continue. One, two, one, two. And inhale, and exhale. Very nice, good. Let's bring those knees into the chest for a second. Relax the neck, and now let's bring the head up again. Legs up to the ceiling, hands behind the neck. Now we're gonna bring the legs down. Think of drawing a long line on the wall, down, and then exhale, bring it right back up. Inhale, we can add, the add dynamic and quickly up. So again, let's add dynamic and quickly up. Crisscross, twist the body to the right and hold. Two, three, to the other side and hold. Two, three, again and hold, two, three, last time, one, two, three, and release. I'm gonna leave you with one last exercise just to articulate the spine and breathe. Inhale, lift the buttocks off the floor, reach the arms over the head, and on the exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Bring the hands down to the sides again. Lift the buttocks up with the inhale. Reach the arms over the head and empty the lungs as you melt the sternum, rib cage, belly button down to the floor. Last time, breathe deeply. Lift the buttocks up, arms over the head, and exhale, empty the lungs completely, bringing the arms down to the sides. And there's your quick seven minutes workout oh, again. I feel so much better. Right, you have oxygen into your system, and now you feel alive again. Remember, it's important. I feel to move. so good. Oh, I, um, yeah. I feel so much better, mm -hmm. Saul. Thank you so much for sharing your talents with us, and we definitely have to do this again. Um, and I'll tell everyone: make sure they check out Windsor Jones of Pilates because you have so many great pictures and videos. And I just think it's Pilates is something so beautiful that you can do on just the mat. They don't need a lot of space. You don't need any equipment, just you in the ground. Exactly. So keep watching for a 30, 40 minute workout and see Thank you soon. Thank you, Saul. I'll see you again. Bye. See you this Bye. afternoon. See you again. Yes. All right, now my next guest. I think I'm about two minutes early because I'm just so excited. So I'm waiting for Amy Schumer. Um, that was such a great segment. By the way, you guys, I'm borrowing my mom's Wi-Fi booster, which I will have tomorrow. So I'll have a little bit better Wi-Fi, but things should be looking good now. Um, okay. So I'm so excited for today because I have Amy Schumer and um, I'm really excited to talk to her just about, she's one of my favorites. She is so funny. Um, and I think right now we could all use a laugh. So that's going to be incredible. Um, and she's super lucky that she lives with the chef. So she's always like posting amazing recipes. So I've loved following her. So you guys should follow Amy Schumer also. Um, and then later in the show, I'm going to be talking to Lauren and Cam from Love is Blind, um, which is one of the many shows that I have binged uh, while I've had uh, the last little bit of time at home. And, um, you know, none of this is happening so we can be socially isolated. That is absolutely um, not what we are exercising. We're exercising protecting the vulnerable, um, protecting those with lower immune systems, um, even this something that you feel like may not affect you directly or you feel young or you feel like you're in pretty good health um, It's still really important that you protect those um, that aren't as fortunate uh, So just everybody stay inside as much as you possibly can and stay safe and stay healthy because that's what I want for you And when you can be tuning into the show Okay, let's see um, I'm still waiting I see my viewers. I see the Vidgets watching. And Jeremy Scott is watching, which I wasn't really going to announce this yet, um, but I just can't help myself. Um, tomorrow, Jeremy Scott is going to be on the show. Tomorrow, Jeremy Scott is going to be talking about um, repurposing uh, items that you have. Oh, my mom. 
Uh, tomorrow, Jeremy Scott is going to be on the show, and he's going to be talking about repurposing some of the items that you would usually just get rid of or items. You have so much time to clean right now, so it's a good time to go through your things that are unwanted and put those unwanted items together to make something uh, that you love and something that's super unique. Um, so I have a couple old vintage t-shirts up there um, that I've worn until they're like kind of beginning to disintegrate and they are like so thin and soft and yummy, but I've just worn them so much that I'd rather turn them to something new um, and something fresh because most of my friends see me in the same shirt every single day. Um, this is the first time I've changed uh, in five days. Did not wash the hair, hence the snatch. Um, but I really wanted to show people that you also don't have to be like an incredible seamstress. Um, you can just use like pins and actually the more exposed thread, me and Jeremy were talking about the more exposed thread that you use or just let those threads dangle, um, the more punk rock and rock and roll that it will be. And so you do not have to be an amazing seamstress. You can use old safety pins, old buttons, um, old pins that you've collected um, and just like put on all these scraps and you're gonna make something that's really cool and punk rock looking. And I think I just saw, let me see what's happening here. You guys can't request me because then I can't see my requests. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'm texting Amy. Oh, my mom is on here. My mom is on here watching. Hi, mom. She says that she loves you guys so, so much. Um, why we have a second? Oh, she needs five more minutes. Cool. Um, okay. So, um, one thing that we can kind of recap on uh, why we why we wait is um, let's talk about. We talked about the organizations and foundations that I am going to support. And since some of you guys um, can actually like talk to me right here, I would like to answer some questions. So maybe you all um, could tell me where you are, where some of you all are watching from. Um, tell me a little bit more what's going on in your community. Um, you guys can also leave that in my comments and I'll be checking my comments um, every day and you guys can tell me where you are and um, just kind of explain the climate of your community because it would really help the show if I could know more about who's actually tuning in and who's watching. Um, I've been reaching out to a couple influencers around the world, um, some Italian influencers, um, Spanish, and so I would definitely love to have um, influencers in your community as well that could kind of just express to me what they're feeling uh, in this time with chaos and confusion um, and sometimes anxiety and panic. Um, so again, just to reiterate that a lot of people are financially hurting right now. So feedingamerica.org is super important because you can donate to your local food bank. So that's super important. Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee providing meals to elderly people in Nashville who have been affected by tornadoes and coronavirus at the same time. Oasis Center um, Community Housing, uh, which I got to go and see like firsthand at Christmas time with my mom, with my dad, with my sisters. Uh, we sang Christmas songs, which were really, really fun. We did that in L.A. also um, for My Friend's Place. Um, my Friend's Place is another um, organization that's super close to my heart and also close to me, actually, um, like, geographically. It's, like, right here. So it's right here in Hollywood, so I love being able to pop into My Friend's Place whenever I can, especially around the holidays, um, to donate, you know, to not just items, but our time and be able to actually see the face of homeless youth in Hollywood because um, there's so many talented young, uh, incredible people there. Um, and it's just amazing to get to see firsthand where the funds and the food and the hoodies and sweatshirts. And uh, we actually even put in a creative arts program at my friend's place, which I'm so excited about. So I got to show my dad. That was the proudest moment uh, for me as a daughter to show my dad um, the music program that we put at my friend's place through Happy Hippie. It was just like so badass. And kids are in there making such amazing music. Um, and obviously, I mentioned, I, I think of myself as being still a Tennessee gal, um, but California is my second home. So I'm supporting the California Community Foundation, which supports COVID-19 LA County response for vulnerable people um, with immediate and long-term needs. So these are all ways that you all could be involved. Um, I see that there is a hi from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Camp people are tuning in from Argentina. Um, 
Miley Army, yeah, Sexy, I love you so much. I love you guys so much. Hi from Turkey, hello. Um, hey, role model, I love you so much. Um, someone just wrote that I'm bringing light in a dark moment. That is absolutely um, the entire point of this show. And honestly, just kind of what's been my life and my journey in the music industry. Um, I've been through my own ups and downs and dark and light times. And I've always come out on the other side um, because positivity has, you know, it's not always easy. It's not always perfect. Um, I love what Demi said yesterday about it not being... And not being realistic to every day, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are, how beautiful you feel. Because there's days when we feel more beautiful than others. There's days that we feel more inspired, um, days that we feel more hurt or pain or, um, you know, optimism. There's just so much that we feel every single day and it totally changes. And so to have one standard um, way of handling those emotions or one standard meditation, we were saying we don't think is completely realistic because it's really important that as days evolve and days change, we do too. And we take it one step at a time and we adjust. My dad always said that life is, Tiama. Hi, he asked me to say something in Spanish. Um, life is a series of adjustments. And so the more that we adjust, um, the better off that we will be. Um, and don't get too rigid. Um, I'm just checking in one more time. She said she'll be on five and quick questions and feature. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I'm so professional. <clears throat> um, okay, so I can click on the questions and I can highlight the questions. If you guys want to send any questions to me, that'd be badass. Oh, I see Italy loves you. So let me see how I do this. Pin, go live. Oh, I can go live, report, comment, hide, pin. What does pin do? I'm not really sure exactly what that does. I'm just figuring out how to do this one day at a time, you guys. I see you all saying tech queen. I'm learning. I, I got my, um, I have my, um, my um, Wi-Fi booster coming tomorrow. So I should have a lot better Wi-Fi because I'm borrowing that from my mommy. Okay. And I've got Amy. So let me check my request. Hold on. I'm getting so many requests. You guys can't request so much because then I can't see who I'm looking for. Oh, there she is. Here I go. Amy fucking yeah! Schumer. What's up? Just happy to talk to you as is everybody else watching right now. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. I'm so excited and I feel like such, um, like, a per like a like a savvy person that I figured out how to do it. I mean, all I had to do was click go live, but still. They um they have been totally reading and roasting me for my poor Wi-Fi. So hopefully my Wi-Fi is good right now. Um, it's wow. a little blurry. I think it looks good. I'm working on it. I'm borrowing a Wi-Fi booster from my mom tomorrow. Um, because I've been getting read. Um, that I'm. Uh, they called me yesterday. I didn't know what LQ was. Apparently, that's low quality. Whoa, um, and I'm being called an LQ queen, uh, which cut to the core. That's hurtful. Guys. It is really we hurtful. Need to, we need each other right now. This is we no do need time. each other right now. They were calling Demi Lovato queen of poor microphone quality. Um, so basically, because, you know, not all of us, I don't know how old everyone, my mom is laughing because she doesn't even, like, know how to turn on. Any, we don't know how to turn on anything. I'm impressed that she had a Wi-Fi booster. No. I, I told you yesterday we had Wi-Fi problems and I was like, well, the internet's gone, like everything's gone. And then my husband was like, I just started it over. And I was like, oh, oh you just no. did the old like unplug, replug. Yeah, he did the thing that like you're supposed to do immediately. And I just am like, I go straight to panic. <laughs> I'm just wondering if someone was saying yesterday, I wish we could just do that trick to 2020 in general. Like we could just do a quick like reset, unplug, replug, which is what we're trying to do on this show. Right now, we're just yeah. like unplugging from the, it's so hard to not just like get totally zoned into the news and just get stuck staring at the negativity. And, and yesterday we talked about dedicating just like a couple minutes a day to checking up on the updates, keeping yeah. yourself updated and aware of what's going on, but not dedicating your entire day to like staring at the news. 
That's really smart. Yeah, I I mean, but really, even watching the news for like five minutes will freak you right out. <laughs> like, exactly. And there's no question about that. You know, like, I, I, I think it's cool that you're being honest about that. It's just like, it is so scary, you know, and I don't really have, um, like, everybody I feel like on my feed became like a life coach, you know what I mean? Like, actually, my friends who are doing the worst have the most advice. They're like, breathe and I'm like what are you talking you know what I mean but yeah uh, the people that are on social saying breathe are the ones texting you those shady little have you been getting those text chains with like total fake information that like oh yeah I've been actually I sent I've like forwarded a lot (laughs) (laughs) I did it too until there was a Twitter account that's dedicated to just debunking all that bullshit because half of them aren't real I sent so many of those forward and everyone was like, this is fake. And I was like, you just feel like such an idiot when you forward that stuff. So have you gotten the one that's going around where it says the list of the neighborhoods and then you click it and it's a guy's penis? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I got a lot of that. Actually, you know what I want to, I want to remember to ask you this. I think that might be, my, my friend Bridget Everett has like a couple. Do you know her? She she does an amazing cover of The Climb. That's badass. Um, no, I want to check it out. Oh, my God. She's a she's like a very famous New York cabaret singer. And she does The Climb. And she um she's plus size. And she like carries somebody up. And she's on stage. And then she makes them like airplane her all, all to your song. Um, but this is I think all that incredible. Might be one of her favorite, that might be one of her favorite uh, porn stars. And no way. Yeah, nice to get nice to get him some buzz. I got this. Oh, he's getting so many clicks. I got yeah. I got that from like everyone that I know. Um, my little sister has sent it on repeat with different texts. Like she'll like <laughs> act like there's something new, some new information, yeah. and then send it to me again. Yeah. Um, um. So today I'm having Lauren and Cam on from Love Is Blind. Um. <sighs> have you got to binge yet? Of course. Are you nervous? I actually kind of am. I've got some good questions. I've got a couple of questions about how they're staying positive, but I'm also just trying to get tea. Um, so I'm going to keep yeah. the first little bit about like positivity and then I'm just going to sneak in. I'm, they're probably watching. So now they know I'll keep it respectful, but I'm just trying are. to Hi, get guys. a little tea. Just get some tea. I mean, it's all, it's what we want more than anything. Um, I think we're all pretty upset more than anything that Daytona is canceled. Yeah. It's not um, that it's what we want. It's what we need. It's what we need. But, uh, I love, did you see that his ex-girlfriend like posted that thing that she's so happy for him? Oh. Did you see that? It was sweet. It was actually really sweet. She was, well, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I projected onto it, but it was like, his ex-girlfriend was like, it's so nice to see someone that you loved, like fall in love and find the right person, whatever. I thought it was sweet, but. I need to be more like her. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be slightly oh more like her. It's tough. Yeah. It well, I just want to thank you so much for jumping on. Um, is there anything else besides Love is Blind, like any TV shows that you recommend or books or movies before we sign off? Yeah. Um, I uh, I mean, I love Love After Lockup and 90 Day Fiance. I'm um, starting those today per your request. <laughs> they're just, I mean, they make you angry. Like if you like to watch TV that stresses you out. You know, I like do some real housewife stuff. And I think I'm more worried about the Vanderpump Rules cast than anybody with the coronavirus. Like, with the amount of shots they take, and I'm worried about them. I'm worried about Seriously, them. I am obsessed with Vanderpump Rules. I mean, this is like. Did you watch Jax's wedding last night? Um, well, here was what I was upset about. Here's what I was upset about. So I did try to get, I tried to get an advanced copy because I had a throat surgery last December and I couldn't talk for four weeks. So I asked Andy if he would get me an advanced copy and he said that yeah. they don't have the edit yet. So there's no way that I could have it. You just have the raw footage. <laughs> Which is what I need. So then my friend went to BravoCon and got to see the entire first episode like two days after he told me he didn't have the edit. So I have a little bit of beef with the crew for not Whoa. getting me. I I was in bed, unable to speak for four weeks. It would have brought me so much hope and light. And this is not right. And I know, and he hoarded the first that. episode from me. That is it. Oh, you know what? I have a nice treat for everybody. And you know, don't put this on later. But if anybody wants their day brightened, here, here's a little baby. <gasps> hi, baby. Say hi, Say hi, hi Jeannie. guys. And the, oh, sorry. And this is both the dad. babies. Hi, Gimi. The sperm donor. Can we see your you toes? You are too good. I'm going to keep sending you videos of my little toes? godson. Hi, baby. Say hi. Hey, hi. Yeah. 
Thank um, you all right. so much for coming so on nice with us. Have a good day with your gorgeous family and love Thank you so much. You. Thank you. I love you. Everybody, hi. Everybody in Italy, everywhere. We're thinking about you. Wash your hands. Stay inside. Social Seriously. Distancing. Thank you. Bye. She is the cutest. That was so much fun. Okay. So now we are going to talk to Lauren and Cameron from Love is Blind. I'm literally freaking out. Brandy, are you here? That's my big sister. Mother, are you here? Is everyone here? Because this is just too exciting. And I have so many questions for them. Okay, so let me. Here's, oopsies. Here's Lauren. Waiting for Lauren. I am freaking out. I'm so excited. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Hi, girl. How's it going? <laughs> How are you two doing? Good. Awesome. Quarantine, staying in the house, you know? know I was wondering uh, what you two were doing to stay positive and at this time, besides making viral TikTok videos, that <laughs> video is, I see the, uh, the staircase. You yes. see it? There it Where is. it went down. <laughs> Well, you know, first off, we love making TikToks to pass the time. Right. Yep. But um, outside of that, I mean, we've just been really doing a whole lot of work in. Yeah. Right? I mean, with everything that's going on. So just trying to catch up and to right. stay positive, really just kind of stay inside of our bubble with friends and family and calling yeah. everyone and making sure that they're good and that they're okay. And Right. Dude. Working on projects together is one thing we really love. Oh my Eat god, like everyone's out, gonna know? be freaking out. So you guys are in a place where you can be together um, and you can continue to work from home. I mean, so many right. of us are so lucky that we can actually continue to work from home. Um, Absolutely. I didn't have anything I necessarily could do working from home, so I just created mm -hmm. my own TV show. Fair. Right, which is That's perfect fair. because we need this. Like, yeah. people are sitting at home, they need this love and positivity. So, kudos to you. Like, I'm it so proud been... of you, Miley. This is beautiful. And we're happy to like be here and chat with you and everybody. So From one great. content creator to another. Yes. Hey. <laughs> so, I have a couple questions. Um, when watching Love is Blind, I think what was so addicting and intriguing for anyone was the concept that two people can actually find love without being in the same space, without being in the same room, um, mm -hmm. not being face to face, not having a first date, not having a first kiss, and you take such a major step in a relationship without any of the above. And right. that seems so outlandish, but now in this climate, it seems like disconnected dating could be a little bit more realistic. Mm -hmm. um, what's it really like dating from a distance? And do you think it affected you positively or negatively? Because so many people are going to have to do that at home. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I think so. One of the best parts of it was there was no distraction by the physical part. And we weren't thinking about physical things that could follow. So we really were able to get down to what it is that is going to carry our relationship into the future. And, you know, seeing Lauren, obviously, her beauty is very <laughs> distracting. I think Aww. a lot of people would agree. <laughs> that is too yeah, cute. But honestly, like, I feel like even, like, being in the pods, like, right now, people can still, like, pick up the phone and call people. And to me, I feel like good conversation is, like, the best foreplay, right? I don't – hopefully it's no shooting. Absolutely. But it's, like, the best foreplay, you know what I'm saying? So it's really good to just be able to talk to somebody, call them. They don't have to physically be there to connect with someone and be intimate, so to say. Like, that can happen and through just conversation and words. There's something almost, like, very kind of, like, innocent about it. I remember being in, like, middle school or high school – Talking mm -hmm. to someone on the phone until you fell asleep was so much more right? important to the relationship. And why for do we hours. lose that when everything else gets in the way? Exactly. Yeah. For hours. I used to love my little cricket phone at night talking to Patrick <laughs> before I get to school. Right. I had a next cell laying on there. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You hang up. No, you hang up. That was the best. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, right. when I was in middle school or high school, you actually wanted to avoid the person that you were dating as much as possible. Right? You yeah. only could talk to him on the phone. To be around him. That's so true. Like yeah, you'd oh be too God, nervous. This way you go the other way. So you know, yeah. I feel like in a way, it's kind of like getting back to our roots as a society. You know what I it mean? Is. Like, let's talk it out. It absolutely is. So another question. Um, 
that I had was you guys are amazing examples of how connection doesn't need to be physical. And for someone that's starting a new relationship or just getting to know someone special during social distancing, what advice would you give to them? Like, is there almost like a template? One thing I used to use was find something you relate on immediately. So ask as many yes. questions, find something that you guys relate on and just talk about that because then more will unfold. What's your way absolutely. that you could connect? 100%. Yeah, absolutely. I think for Lauren and I, our first immediate connection was family. How important yeah. family is, their health, um, just their well-being. So you probably saw on the show that that was the first time we kind of cried together. And I was crying. That also. was where... <laughs> oh, girl, me I'm moving because my fans connect, are slaying like, my Wi-Fi. I'm emotional so I'm about everything. Right. I was so totally was... crying right there with you. <laughs> yeah, that was where we had our first connection. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think we went into the dates after that, just like thinking about what are those qualities we need in a long term partner that are going to, you know, make this work in the long haul and, and kind of already going into it prepared, so to speak. Yeah, Absolutely. you know, just like you said, Miley, basically just talk about the things that are most important to you, like the things that you guys will have in common, you know, like the stuff that you like, the stuff that you dislike, like what what are your phobias? What motivates you? Like that type of stuff you can connect with somebody about and talk for hours just based on that. So Yeah, sure. and usually when you find one thing, that just pulls a thread and you find all these things. Exactly. Um, Fall down the rabbit hole. Exactly. So I wanted to say you guys went from not knowing each other at all to being newlyweds. And what's it like now? Um, I mean, now you kind of went like 180. You're like the opposite of a pod. You're stuck in a pod now <laughs> together. It's like right. the opposite of a show. <laughs> now you're stuck in the pod together. Are there any like weird habits or like ticks that you guys have Ooh. that you're starting to go like, whoa, didn't know about that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Spill the tea. Nice. Spill the tea. Yeah. yeah what's right. my weird ticks, honey? Um, she likes to pile stuff on the bed. Oh, no, he did it. <laughs> like, like what? Like packing? Yeah, like clothes and bags and stuff. Well, you know, okay, listen, ladies, y'all know trying when, to start. <laughs> ladies, you know when you're getting ready to go out, right? And then it's like after you have all your stuff, all your clothes, you kind of leave it on the bed so you come back, right? I'm not the exactly. only person who does that. Okay, I, now it's time for his tics, right? I put all my outfits together because otherwise you're going to bring a bunch of stuff that when you get there, you're like, what the hell did I even pack? Exactly. Right, right. So you feel me, Miley. I, I, I feel, feel like I'm about to get ganged up on. <laughs> I feel you. Um, okay, so I wanted to know, since Lauren, you're a content creator, do you yes, have any tips for me besides getting a Wi-Fi booster, which is happening uh tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> um okay well besides the wi-fi booster um you know what i would just say you know everyone loves you for who you are so just push more of that out there and just be yourself i like to add little like details in the stuff that i create so i love to mm -hmm. add in like little emojis and fun stuff and animations animations yeah. and cut to the music but i mean you're you so and i'm working on with? that i so next week so my friends are helping me the really cool thing about this is I'm only able to use what I already have in my house. So mm. that's been kind of challenging. That's all you I need. I did not have a phone tripod. I did not uh. have a beauty light. I did not have any of these things. I didn't even know right. how to use my phone until like three days ago. When I <laughs> was trying to add in people to be on my lives, I kept turning myself into a puppy. Oh. So like I just learned how to do <laughs> any of this fuck? two days ago. So now I'm kind of learning like my mom had the Wi-Fi booster. My friend had the tripod cell phone and they've been doing the same thing where they've been quarantined since actually Wednesday of last week so I'm only kind of interacting with people that I know are taking the same precaution right um, as me because I think it's really important for people to protect themselves to Absolutely. really only spend time with people taking it as seriously and we talked actually the other day on the show about don't worry be happy people are kind of dangerous because when we don't worry and we just say, well, I'm young, I'll be fine. I don't have a compromised immune system. That's just not true for right. everyone else. And so it can be considered kind of selfish. And it's just important to stay inside as much as you can, stay clean as much as you can. Don't Absolutely. Hoard, wash your hands. Wash repeatedly. your hands. My, over and over I, my, again. my favorite things I read was we thought in 2020, we'd have flying cars. But here we are teaching people how to wash their hands. Hello. Right. Like, <laughs> With the diagrams. <laughs> like seconds. what? <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about bright minds, basically, you know, as an exercise to stay lit in dark times. 
Um, Love it. And the whole series is based off an exercise that I do. So it's like B stands for the blessing and curse of social media. So could mm -hmm. you two give a pro and con of social media? And I'm sure you've seen your mm -hmm. own share of trolls and opinions. Oh, yeah. Girl, have we, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, a pro of social media, I would say, of course, being able to communicate with each other from long distances, even in situations like this, where we may not be able to be together physically. But I mean, look at how many people are in here right now. And we're all probably from all over the world. We all are from all over the world. So that's awesome just to be able to connect with people far and wide in one spot. Yeah, Agreed. and really the same pro for me. I think that it's amazing how much love and support we've received for people who relate to our story, mm -hmm. um, you know, see themselves, maybe they're in a relationship that they think is relatable. And I'm sure you've received a ton of love, obviously, as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the con of that just being that, of course, everyone's got an opinion and, and scrutinizing every tiny detail of anything you ever did right. or said that was <laughs> yeah. recorded. Yeah, people definitely get real gutsy when they're behind the, the keyboard of their phone. Right. So that's definitely a con. Um, but, you know, you have to just try not to pay attention to that. Like, you know, focus on the good stuff that's on social media. Try Be sure that you're following, you know, the people who really kind of feed into you, I like to say. If you're scrolling yep. on your timeline and if someone gives you a bad vibe or makes you feel drained, unfollow. Okay, yep. the unfollow button. I love One block. One away, guys. So, block, you know, block. And I love, I love hide story from. That's my favorite. Yes. Me love too. Yeah, <laughs> love hiding yeah. the story. I've, so I just started like using the whole block button thing, you know, with all the kind of trolls that are starting to seep in there. I'm like, oh, I forgot that I can even block people. So. And you, yeah. yeah, they don't they don't deserve the content at this point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the R stands for reliability. And who are okay. the most reliable figures in your life or your resources? This could be your faith, your family, mm. or your friends. Right. Nice. Yeah, I would say my parents and my sister, obviously. You know, we so stand like, both of your families. Yeah, uh, we stand your family, girl. Right. We <laughs> love that scene with your dad was so beautiful, and when he was crying, but also seemed intimidating as hell. Yeah, um, <laughs> at the same damn time. Anytime, my dad's been like that before too, and just anytime, mm -hmm. that's just pure love. So as much as right. sometimes you feel like I. You know, I wish my dad wouldn't do things like that or like it's embarrassing to me. I know it's because mm -hmm. he loves me and I couldn't imagine he's right. known me before I have understood me or exactly. known me. Like he saw us before we even were in our bodies. Like he right. loved us before we we're even in our shells. And so you right. got to just try to understand. And I think if you don't have kids, it's really hard to understand why parents mm -hmm. are so protective sometimes. Right. And but it's like, you know, crazy. baby girls, we're both baby girls. So, True. I mean, you know, it's just like the protective dad vibe, especially if you go on a TV show and marry someone who you've known for two months through a wall. So he was, he was protecting his baby girl. and But honestly, he's just so loving and he's a big teddy bear. Yeah, I would have been the same way as him. I think he was totally right to yeah. be protective and, and, you know, he obviously still is, but he's a great man. Yeah, the and show had to be kind of crazy because we grew up in a time where this isn't that weird to kind of like document everything that we're doing because we right. do that anyways. Right. That is a totally <laughs> different generation. My dad literally, okay, so my dad got two Blackberries because he says it equals one iPhone. That is not true. <laughs> he is okay. still on the Blackberry. <laughs> He still has it? He still has a Blackberry. He has two of them because he says it equals one iPhone. Then uh, we gave him and we're like, uh, no. And then so we gave him an iPhone to use in this time because he's stuck in Nashville. We're stuck here. Um, so yes. it's really sad because he has to go to my grandma's house to FaceTime because my grandma knows how to FaceTime. Oh. He but my grandma, <laughs> grandma doesn't, is teaching him my grandma do doesn't know how to screenshot. So she takes photos of the thing on the screen. So I'll be like, oh send me a screenshot and she'll send me a picture from her cell phone of her taking a picture oh, on the screen. She's getting it done, okay? She's getting it done. making it happen by any means necessary. Exactly. Um, everyone's writing that my dad is the king of Blackberries. That's because he's the only one with a Blackberry. Um, <laughs> And right. then, so I wanted to ask, um, were the, in the pause, you probably painted a picture of like who you were kind of expecting. Um, is it anything like who you're married to now? Has there any, like anything that you didn't expect Ooh. you all would like learn about each other, especially being kind of stuck in the same spot now? Right. Hmm. Um, honestly, I feel like 
in the pods, I painted Cameron to be just like this loving, super like detail oriented person. And honestly, he's that and much more. Um, as for quirks, of course, he has those. Uh -huh. <laughs> he has those for sure um, but you know I feel like it's we're all human so we all have those things and I feel like you know in a relationship especially when you're living in close quarters like this and those of you who are probably at home you may be shacked up with your boo um, yeah. you know I feel like you kind of just get a chance to really even grow into each other even more and learn each other and even if you need to you know if you need some time apart go into a different room and close the door because sometimes yeah. we need that too Right. Yes, we do. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For me, I mean, back in the pods, because we knew time was of the essence. So we were very economical about our time. Got to know Lauren at all the things that I knew like I needed in a partner yep. before we proposed. But having been married for a year and a half, I mean, there's just <laughs> a year and just a so half. Much yeah, yeah. I needed that timeline. Yes. yes. I did not know a year and a half. 2018. Yeah. Right, right. That so we've been married for a whole year and a half, bro. Man. <laughs> yeah, we had to keep it like under wraps and, you know, yeah, until absolutely. the show. Actually, not only until the show came out, but until it revealed that we were right. married. Right. Right. Yeah. That was crazy. So you all had to really be in like kind of hiding. Yeah. Basically. I mean, no one knew us really at that point so we could be right. kind of open but on social media we no had pictures. to pretend like we were single pretty much mm -hmm. yeah. man that's wild you know those um, exes creep in like hey girl what's up and it's like no nope. you can't say anything that's crazy I know. it's like nope yeah. um, by the way Miley, your makeup is so pretty yes golden lids i did it for Hi. you <laughs> so cute um you know what actually this is an advice and i actually just reached out to john mayer about doing the show also because i watched his instagram live yesterday and he was talking about even if you have nowhere to go getting mm -hmm. ready gives you a sense of purpose and of structure because right Absolutely. now you just don't have any structure so he was hilarious he's like even though you have nowhere to go put on your clothes like you're going somewhere and right. then put on your lounge clothes when you get back from doing nothing. Uh, uh, <laughs> put those like, on. I'm done with my job. Put and my and then put on your pajamas, you know? Yeah, so in life, the... You have like, I know I have at least three wardrobe changes. Go out, <laughs> put on my sweats when I get home, do my workout, do whatever, and then go to sleep. So he's like, just keep the structure, but in your house. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like that's important. And you saw that in the pods, too. We were all dressed mm -hmm. all these dates, even though you know, right. we couldn't see each other. Him. And it just gives you that sense of like feeling good and feeling prepared. That's mm -hmm. actually such a good idea because I didn't even think yeah. about that. You guys did like, even to propose you got in suits even though they wouldn't see. Right, right. and dresses. And some people were like, why are they dressed up when people can't even see them? But right. to me, it's like, if you look good, you feel good. And 100%. even if you feel like you look good in your sweats, then you still feel good even in that. You know right. what I'm saying? Absolutely. So Exactly. I'm totally on the Billie Eilish swag right now. I understand why she wears so many oversized sweatpants and sweatshirts because that's what I've been in now for like Me five days. Too. This queen has <laughs> it figured out. Right now. She has it figured <laughs> right. out. Um, so I was actually writing that a lot of the couples kind of had like drama and negativity in their storylines, but y'all really mm -hmm. didn't have much of that. So where did you inherit the light and the positivity? Was that a choice because you know you're getting filmed or is that just how you live your life? <laughs> um. I think, Honest. yeah, I think we went into it both, well, I'll speak for myself, but I have an idea. Laura and I went into it, you know, understanding that we just wanted to be ourselves and be authentic and not, mm -hmm. you know, ham it, ham it up. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to be characters. We wanted to be ourselves. And that was just like really important to us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always I, wonder when people do that sometimes on shows, they kind of characterize themselves and it doesn't actually work because at the end when they call cut and the series is out, that's kind of now who you, who are. you have to be. Exactly. Yeah, you have to be. And it, it's really hard to keep up with a persona Being like someone that. else. Right. Exactly. Definitely. Um, and so the, all, there was all this drama. We all love the mm -hmm. drama. We were gagged for the drama. Um, sure. Is there anything that we missed out on that didn't make the edit? Because I know from my own life that people just want clickbait. They want sensationalized right. moments, um, sensationalized material that gets people tuning in. People tune in to negativity and drama. And that's why I started this show, because 
I don't want to sit at home and just watch the news from nine to nine. I need a break. Our brain needs a break. We right. Need positivity. Absolutely. My therapist who was on the show two days ago was talking about dedicating, you know, maybe five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon and five at night to keep yourself updated. So, you know, kind of what the, what you need to do to mm -hmm. keep yourself safe. But like, otherwise watching the news all day is not helpful. Um, oh no! no. It's so not I'm sure they sensationalized your relationship or sensationalized all the material. But was there anything that was just like mellow or mushy that you really wish they would have shown or kept in? Yeah, Definitely. actually, when I met Cameron's parents, and I cut that completely out of the right. show, and it's like, what the heck? I guess I, you know, maybe it wasn't enough drama or anything. We didn't fight or anything like that. But so even how did my it go dad, when you met them? We oh, here. it went great. Oh, like, oh, it yeah. went great. I walked in, and his mom was like, oh, my God, you're just as pretty as he described. You know, it's like, yes, I'm in there. I'm in the family. She loves me. Um, and then so my dad actually came, too, and we all met and sat around and kikied and laughed and drank and talked about life. And it's so unfortunate that that part yeah. didn't make the show. But I know a lot of people ask about that, like, did Cameron's parents Thanks. like refused to meet her or something like that and it wasn't even like that at all right. so, so see that sucks i hate yeah. when things like that happen i hate when something actually goes really well but it's not clickbaity enough that right that happens to me all the time every time i've talked about mm -hmm. like my foundation and why i started the happy hippie foundation and like yeah. all the amazing inspiring women i've met in the music industry that's super supportive mm -hmm. like there's been so many times where i'm doing interviews and i say so many things that are so positive and then it just becomes like we had some really dark negative conversation that was and that's like, like the headline it was like a I clip know. of something and they don't keep in the majority which is all positive right right, right. absolutely and lauren even showed mom her wedding dresses on her phone yeah. and they had a bonding about that and our families talked about you know how we were going to integrate our families and it was a really cute special moment so. yeah we would have loved to see that so if you can <laughs> i'm gonna hit up the producers we <laughs> exactly need, we, we need, need that the footage. bright i think we need the bright-minded edition of love is blind only yeah. the positive part of the show we need to make that happen oh okay. yes love there is blind so bright-minded edition um, <laughs> So speaking yeah. of um, just everyone like loving you guys and just being obsessed with you, my mom is on here right now. Um, she actually <laughs> hey, Miley's she mommy. cried when you all got married on the show, like oh, actual too. real <laughs> tears. Um, she's deeply, deeply invested. We just love you so much. And the thing that she loves is just how positive you were. You didn't go on there and like do anything embarrassing or foolish that would change your character. You guys were just true mm -hmm. to yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And I literally shared... You were on my screen for 12 hours, 12 yeah. straight hours. Like, I feel like I Binge. really know you, um, yes. but five. I haven't gotten to know you. So I'm really happy that we got to spend this time together. Um, and if you're in LA, then hit me up. Um, yes. And next time I'm in Nashville, you guys drive up from Atlanta or I'll drive down and I need to Absolutely. Okay, can we take a selfie, Miley? Yes, okay, how do we do it? Okay, okay. Um, I think I can do it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Wrong button, baby. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> you have to send it to me. Check. I don't know yeah. if I did it or not, but. Maybe I can use your uh, grandma's technique and take I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, what I was going to say. I'm like, now that I slayed my grandma, um, let's do it this way. <laughs> let's try it. I'll now. take a picture yeah. of the screen. There oh, my go. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you, Miley. Thank we you, Lonnie you. Cam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miley. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.